Hey guys, the purpose of this video is just to uh, demonstrate a couple of the pouches being used by uh, officers on the road for medical purposes, uh, putting your, your Narcan and your uh, tourniquets and uh, occlusive bandages and everything like that in it. And, and um, as they throw more and more medical stuff at us that we have to wear on a daily basis, a lot of us have load-bearing vests or we put them on our belts or something. Um, myself, uh, I don't have any room left on my belt, it's all on a load-bearing vest, and so I've gone through a couple of these pouches trying to figure out which one I like the most uh, without it being too cumbersome and taking up too much space and making me look too big, okay? So what I've got in front of us here is a uh, number of the pouches that I'm seeing officers wear on the road these days. And uh, that'll actually bring us to the end here with a uh, pouch that I just discovered, which is now my favorite. And part of the point of this is to try to get the word out about that pouch and this uh, company. Because uh, when I was looking into it, I could find very little information on the internet about it. So here we are. So the first one that I want to go over really quickly is uh, this big guy here. Okay, I've filled all of these pouches. I've just filled them to the brim with, uh, with paper towel. Okay, just to actually show off what their size uh, is. Okay, so they're all filled to the brim. This guy, uh, I've seen a lot of officers wearing. Why? Because there's, the, the pro is, is stupid cheap. You can get these. They're all made in China, obviously. They come off of Amazon. Uh, they, the, you, you buy these on Amazon for basically uh, two packs for like $16 or $20 or something. And there's, there's really nothing wrong with these pouches. They've got a double zipper with strings that come to the top. They're, they're fairly big, okay? They're advertised as being a uh, 6.1 inch by 4.5 inch by 2.2 inch uh, pouch. It does have uh, molly straps on the back, okay, that, uh, that feed well like this. It, there's nothing uh, technically wrong with this pouch. I wore one of these for probably about a year um, before I just decided it was too big on the front of my body and you know, uh, getting in and out of the car, I would hit the steering wheel. Uh, it limits it, your ability to do things in front of your body. Even just sitting up against a table, uh, you have to sit away from a table when you're eating and things like that. So this this pouch to me is a little cumbersome, okay, but there's nothing wrong with what it does. It does have uh, Velcro space on the front for putting uh, any of your um, medical uh, uh, tags, like with a little red uh, cross or Narcan or anything like that. So yeah, you can stick anything on there. The mole on the front is pretty useless. I mean, you can hang your set of keys off there momentarily if you want, but if you were putting something else on the front of this, that would just be silly. So that's pouch number one, okay, uh, available on Amazon. The One of the biggest ones and definitely ones that stick out the furthest from the body, okay. Um, another one that's available on Amazon, uh, very cheap. Here, this one is uh, uh, BV Mag Tactical Molly Pouch EDC. Um, this one is advertised as being a uh, 5.7 by 3.7 by 1 inch, so it's substantially smaller than that other one, okay, putting them side by side, uh, you can see the obvious height difference off of the body, okay, but this isn't designed to be uh, a, an everyday carry medical pouch, it's really designed for uh, large cell phones. Um, it has an internal compartment which is fairly big. Uh, but doesn't have any openings on the side, so getting in there is a little bit difficult. And then it's got a secondary pouch on the front, and then a bunch of little credit card slots on the front too. Uh, I don't, I don't find it particularly useful for putting any medical stuff in. And in addition to that, because the flap goes over the front and then clips in, and you've got the extra material of the uh, secondary pouch in there as well. Again, you're getting further away with without gaining any ability to actually put anything more in there. It does have Velcro on the front for what that's worth. Personally, I find that this is pretty much just useful for you. You can, you can keep um, about 10 or 12 rounds of 12 gauge ammunition in there uh, and keep it in your duty bag. So it's, it does have its, uh, its use, but um, a normal size cell phone, a, a Samsung Galaxy S22, for example, like the one I'm filming this on, would fit into this slot and is lost in this inside slot. So that one's, uh, it's very, very cheap on Amazon. It's uh, listed at $18.99. But uh, it has a, it has a, you're going to discover what use it is, but it's not for uh, keeping your medical stuff in. Okay, that takes us over to, uh, this is the STAC Mini Med. Okay, this one uh, in particular came off of uh, 911supply.ca, uh, listed at $30. Um, you're getting into uh, a more compact version of this larger one. Okay, it's, it's lower and it's uh, narrower. Okay, but the same basic idea. It's got double zippers that go all the way to the bottom. It uh, it has a, 
uh, Molly attachments, but one downside, definitely a con for this guy, is it doesn't come with any uh, straps. So you've got to get yourself some Molly straps so that you can attach it to your vest. Um, in addition to that, uh, the size is big enough to accommodate, for the most part, some of the uh, medical supplies that you might be issued. Some of our medical stuff now has gotten a little bit bigger, so the older stuff was fitting in here just fine, but the uh, newer stuff, it's, it's questionable. Um, it does not have a Velcro on the front. Uh, this was affixed after the fact, okay, for uh, attaching things like that too. So it just has the three straps of Molly on the front, again, with a, a questionable usefulness. The size of this one is listed as uh, 4 inches wide, 6.5 inches high, and 3 inches deep. And you saw how it compares in uh, size to the big uh, Amazon guy, okay? But the, ba the basic idea, it still sticks out uh, quite a bit past the, the body. Not as big as the Amazon, but it does stick out a little bit, okay? Right alongside that, I've got another pouch sold there that was sold on the same website, but I don't believe they sell it anymore. Uh, this one is the uh, Tactics Series 3x6 inch utility pouch. It's, sell, it's sold by uh, First Tactical. So it's pretty much the same size. It, uh, it's maybe a hair smaller than the one we just talked about. This one's listed at uh, 3 inch by 6 inch and they don't go into the depth. But the depth is, is very comparable. Again, we've got the S-Tac here on my right and we've got that uh, First Tactical Tactics pouch on the left. They're essentially the same size, okay? Um, the first tactical pouch does have uh, Velcro bands on the front, uh, but you can you could definitely put something on those bands, but they're very small, and I'm not sure what the usefulness of them is. But compared to the S-Tac, it does come with Molly attachments on the back, okay? So you do have that. So that's another option there. Compared to the big boy, just like the S-Tac, they'll look something like this. Okay, they'll stick out from the body, something like that, comparable again to what we were looking at with the S-Tac before. Okay, um, that brings us along to a new guy on the block here uh, in terms of pouches. This one is the uh, medical pouch. It's specifically labeled as a medical pouch. It doesn't have any Velcro or anything on the front, but it does have a identifier cross. Um, this one's brought to us by Prelabs, which uh, makes body armor and it's there's there's it's a pretty good pouch honestly. Um, the downside of this are I mean some people will think it's an upside. I think it's a downside because it just adds more distance to get the pouch away from your body again. But this one, it does have the molly attachments, and then that entire pouch can be ripped off of the body, uh, and so you can go through it and get your medical gear out of it if you need to. Okay. The the downside with that, or why I describe that as a downside, is because it gets it further away from your body by by at least a solid half an inch. So. Putting that on our uh, a little comparison board here, you can see that it, it almost does stick out as far as the uh, the big boy, okay? And putting the other guy in the middle, this was our uh, Tactical Tactics or S-Tac is a similar size. So it's you're back to sticking out further. If they had put that Molly attachment right on the pouch instead, then you'd be you'd be getting down into fairly flat territory there, and and that would be a, that would have been a good thing, okay? But that's just not how it's built. Um, but it is a little bit taller. This one comes in at seven inches uh, versus the uh, comparative six inches for uh, the Amazon big boy. Uh, four inches across and it's labeled as 2.5 inches deep, but it, it's definitely more like three or more. Okay, and then that brings us to the uh, last thing that I wanted to show you guys is this. It's a, I think an exciting little uh, piece of kit that's been brought to us by Line of Fire Defense Systems, which is uh, in Edmonton, Al Edmonton, Alberta. It's built in-house. They build all of their stuff in-house. So this is actually the uh, notepad pouch that they sell. It's a police duty notepad pouch. It's uh, listed at $47, so a little bit more expensive, um, but it accomplishes the same thing in a, a wider but much flatter uh, body there. So again, let's go back to our uh, comparison here. With the Amazon big boy here, you can see how flat that is compared to the body, compared to the Amazon. And this one actually is full with my medical kit right now, which I'm going to show you in a second. It does come in at about the same width as that Amazon guy, okay, which clearly is wider than the S-Tac and the Tactics, right? But it sits a lot flatter to the body, so it won't uh, impede your steering wheel or get you uh, up further from the table like the other ones do. 
And uh, the, the benefits of this guy, I know it's a little bit, it's a little bit pricier at $47, but it does have the uh, built-in molly. The entire face of it is Velcro, so there's no problem with uh, sticking your labels on there and the lock zone and medical stuff. And um, it's built for notepads, so they actually have an opening in the front if you wanted to stick a pen in there in the Velcro. The Velcro leaves an opening at the top just so you can slide your pens in and out of there. Uh, let's see what we got inside here right now. So, what the, the benefit of a pouch like this. So, I've got three pairs of gloves on the top, a uh, one way um, CPR valve for artificial respiration, two Narcans, one, two, the uh, hemostatic dressing, the blood clot dressing, all right, and then finally, uh, chest seal, which now the new issue chest seal is massive. So all of that fits into this fairly compact little package. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate now just what it looks like on a vest compared to, again, the um, we'll, we'll use the, uh, the big Amazon one to show off the difference. Okay, so worn on a vest, you can see the huge difference between the uh, Amazon one on the right here, my right, and of course this flat uh, thing from Line of Fire. So I'm I'm sold on it. The uh, obviously the S tack you get that in there. It's about the same. Uh, you're getting out from the body about the same thing as that Amazon one. So you know again, the size difference is is to me it's about half the size. So it's it's enormous. Anyway, so I can't say enough good things about this product. Uh, I suggest you check them out. Line of Fire, uh, Canadian company out of Edmonton, Alberta. All in-house manufacturing. Good quality product, uh, and it does come with everything you need. Velcro and everything. Check them out. Thanks. Have a good one.